happens with all of them, which is really rare because sometimes, um, well, the Airspray was my first experience, but a lot of them told me, you know, this is a really special crew and cast because everybody, we, were, we worked together for six months, so we really, we all moved to Canada together to shoot the movie, so it was like a big step for all of us, and so we became like a family, I mean, and, and we're all still family. We still talk to each other all the time, and, and we're all really, really close. Do you have any plans to like complete college later, or are you doing it now, or is it like not really? <laughs> you know, it was interesting. I was um, signed up for college. Uh, I was gonna go to CW Post Long Island University, because I'm from New York. I um, had a great drama program, I did all the, the high school, you know, when you're a senior in high school, I'm sure you guys know, you do all the auditions for um, the drama programs at the other colleges and stuff. And I had done like 10 of them. And my dream school, I'll tell you guys my story, my dream school was NYU Tisch. It's like, he's smiling, he's like, yeah. <laughs> it's like the hardest school for musical theater to get into. And that was, I was like, I have to get into Tisch. It, there's just, and I didn't get it. And, so I decided to go to CW Post, and um, I found out I got the part, so I called them up and said, I'm not gonna be there first semester, probably not second semester either. And, and so they were kind enough to give me my deposit back. <laughs> and, uh, and so it was funny, at the premiere of Hairspray, this man came up to me and said, oh, hi, I'm Andrew Tish. And I said, oh, Tish. Oh. And he goes, I own Tisch School of the Arts. I said, oh, you guys turned me down last year. <laughs> and he was like, we did. I said, yeah. I said, but look, it's all pinned out. Look where we are. Isn't that great? <laughs> and he was like, oh my God, well, if you ever want to come back, full scholarship, full scholarship. I was like, you know what? I'll take that for my brother. Is that cool? He's like, oh, sure, yeah. So, so it was just really funny. It's just funny how life, you know, turns around and is really funny. So I, a college for me right now, um, it, I think about it all the time. I was going to go to college to, you know, study drama and, and theater. So um, if I go, it'll be to study something else someday. Don't know what that will be yet. <laughs> yeah. Are you working on anything right now? Yeah, I literally just flew in yesterday from Salt Lake City, Utah. I was filming a movie called Waiting for Forever with Rachel Bilson from the OC and um, Scott Malkowitz and uh, Blythe Danner and Richard Jenkins. And it's a really, really cool movie. It should be coming out soon. And it's really cool. So I'm working on that and I'm working on my album right now. And you're going off to shoot another movie. Uh, no, I'm actually I'm going to sing with the Gay Men's Choir in, uh, in a couple of days. Yeah, at Kansas City, Missouri. I've been doing a lot of men's choirs lately, and it's fun, because it's 300 men and me. <laughs> so now that you're kind of like, you know, you've, you've had your, that one movie established, and people know you, in order to get into another movie, do, do they just call you up and, do they call you up and ask you about it, or do you have to go in and again and audition again like before? It really depends on what it is. Honestly, um, like the last film I just did, they sent me the script. They said, would you read it? I read it. They said, if you like it, the offer's up. I said, okay, I'll take it. And so, because I, I really love the script. But it, sometimes you have to go in and, and audition. I mean, I've gone in uh, up against, um, the one person I always seem to meet up in auditions with is Rumor Willis. It's really odd, but we always go to the same part, and we look like nothing alike, we act nothing alike, we're friends, but um, but yeah, so, so it really depends on the part. If it's like a big, 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 big production, and if they're certain that you're who they want, sometimes they'll just offer it, but most of the time, it's audition. Doesn't really change much. So like, okay, great, now you have a thing on your resume, and you still want to see what you can do, you know, because every role is different. <laughs> <laughs> when you're like really busy and like going all around, like how do you deal with your stress? Like if you get stressed, like, how do you like not get stressed? Or do you just get stressed? <laughs> <laughs> um, my stress, my stress level gets really, really, really high sometimes because you know traveling and it gets like 
crazy, and so I tend to um, I tend to write a lot. I tend to pray a lot, um, breathe a lot, and you know I just try to focus on other things. You know, just try to zone out and you know remember why I'm going to these places and why I'm doing it. You know, people call it work, but for me it's not work. You know, it's like I'm just having fun. I can't believe that people pay me to just do what I want to do. It's, it's my dream. So uh, I, you have to just kind of remember why you're you're doing it and why you're on that plane for 19 hours going to Australia. You know, it's like you have to remember why you're doing it. And, and at the end of the day, it's just because this is what I love to do. So. You said you were um, in the process of creating an album. Mm -hmm. What kind of music on that album? You know, it's funny. I think everybody expects show tunes from me. <laughs> and, um, you know, there will be some stuff on there, um, you know, very piano-driven. But a lot of it is guitar-driven as well. A lot of my influences that you'll kind of hear through the album are along the lines of, like, Melissa Etheridge and Sheryl Crow and Bonnie Raitt and Stevie Nicks. So it's, it's kind of a little bit of a, a rocker edge to it. Can I hear you say? <laughs> oh, you can hear me sing? Uh, sure, what would you like to hear? Do you play like an instrument? No, no I don't. <laughs> Besides your voice. Uh, I do play my voice occasionally. Um, no, that was the one thing. I played piano when I was five, and my teacher would always tell me that I couldn't play it right because I could never reach the chords because I have really little hands. So it was because of her that I gave up. Aww. But Aww. <laughs> that's really mean. No offense uh, to the teachers. Um, no, she actually she was a, a private a private teacher. She taught in her house, and it was just it wasn't a good experience. But um, you know, it's okay. No, it's it's fine. So I I never really played an instrument. I'm not very. I don't think I'm coordinated enough. <laughs> Probably wouldn't be a good scene. <laughs> Sure. Who wants to sing with me? Sing, uh, sing one of your original songs. Yeah, sing one of your original songs. Why don't you guys sing something with her? Yeah. Maybe she can come sing with me. Are you up for You Can't Stop the Beat? Sure, yeah. Do you want to sing You Can't Stop the Beat? Yes. Yes. You want to dance a little bit? Sure, why not? 